Melanie, can you tell us more about the new survey and its findings? Yeah, absolutely. So this was a survey of women to find out uh, how they prep like before um, their gyno exam, and it was kind of funny and yet really familiar. And so, yeah, what we found out: eighty-five percent of women are really focused when they wake up in the morning to. Uh, how they're going to prep. So seven in ten of us will spend an additional like seven minutes in the bath or shower. Um, we're thinking about what underwear we're going to wear. So uh, eight and ten are choosing granny panties over lingerie, which I think is kind of ironic because four out of five of us are hiding our underwear. I don't know if you do that, but like hiding our underwear, so like as if our healthcare provider has never seen underwear before, and. <laughs> And, you know, and then, you know, there's that minute, like, when you walk into the exam room, and you look at the stirrups, and all of a sudden you're thinking, should I go to the ladies' room? 79% of us are kind of thinking about that. Then we see the robe, you know, the gown. We're like, is it front open, back open? I mean, although, you know what, 20% of us, I may be one of them, if we could just add a couple of accessories, maybe we could make it like a little <laughs> cuter, right? So yeah, so we're thinking about all this stuff before we get to the gynecologist's office. But what we're not thinking, what the survey showed, is what's most important. And that is having the important conversations with our healthcare provider. So about screenings and about um, our, our sexual history and about just general uh, questions. Uh, so it's, um, it's interesting that we all have this common experience and yet unfortunately part of that common experience is not uh, having the important conversations and having the right questions at hand before we walk in the door. Right, Amy? I agree. Surprising. <laughs> so I, I do think that, yeah, uh, women have more things on their mind besides that. But Amy, do you, the results that came through, was anything that gave you cause for concern? <clears throat> yeah, it was interesting that women prepare for the exam but not in the way that I thought they prepared. As a healthcare provider, I thought women prepared by writing down questions, thinking about certain sicknesses, diseases, illnesses they're at risk for, such as cervical cancer, sexually transmitted infections, breast cancer. So that caught me off guard. And what it tells me is as a woman and as a women's health nurse practitioner, that I need to ask those questions. What's important to you? What questions do you have? If it's okay, Cynthia, I'd like to give a shout out to the National Association of Nurse Practitioners in Women's Health, healthywoman.org, and Hologic for allowing us to empower women and educate them today. Great. Um, Melanie, do you personally relate to any of the findings from the survey, personally? Yeah, I do. You know, I, I certainly relate to um, you know, the, the, for instance, <laughs> four out of five of them of the women surveyed uh, wear socks in the stirrups. I, I've done that, especially when I forgot to get a pedicure. <laughs> so there's, you know, yeah, right, you know. So yes, and, and yes, I like 25%. Like I, I want to talk about the weather, but I also, um, I also am familiar with the feeling of feeling vulnerable, right? I, I mean, I don't know that there are more uh, vulnerable places to be than um, at your gynecological exam. And um, I remember, I'm in my 40s now, and in my 20s, I, I didn't even know, I, when I was in my 20s, I didn't, never even heard of HPV before. I didn't know to ask those questions. I, didn't, I wasn't empowered and educated. Um, and so now that I know these types of things, and again, healthywomen.org is a place, great place to mm -hmm. find out information and then actually also a great place to write down the questions but I didn't know that I could ask my healthcare provider for the information because I thought well here's the expert she or he knows but no you know I, I, I didn't know for instance that I, I, as a woman over 30 I need to ask for the PAP plus HPV together test you know, that's one swab two tests, so it's not any more invasive than your regular um, gynecological exam. I, I didn't know, and I also didn't know um, that HPV could lead to possibly precancer, cancerous cells for cervical cancer. So yeah, I mean, there's, there was a lot of it that, um, that I related to um, from the funny stuff that we all experience, but also about the more serious stuff, about making sure that I'm asking the right questions and that the women I love are asking the right questions when they get to see their healthcare provider. 
Well, Amy, right now, help us to clear up the confusion. What a cervical cancer test do women need? And I know there's, there's been changes in the past few years of what's necessary when. Yeah, so cervical cancer screenings save lives. And what's important for your uh, viewers to remember, number one, is that women need an annual exam every single year. That's why it's called an annual gynecological exam. Women 21 to 29 need a pap test every three years. Women 30 to 65 need a pap test plus HPV together every five years. So it's important to ask your healthcare provider, what cervical cancer screening am I getting today? What other screens do I need today? Great. Do we have any additional tips, ladies, for women? And they gave me a few websites to look more information up, or is there anything we missed in this interview? Well, I, I would just add that, you know, because these conversations are so important, that that your viewers, um, if they're not feeling comfortable, if, if they're working with some of their health care provider, is not, is rushing them through, is not letting them ask the questions, is not necessarily providing the answers they need, if they don't feel like they, they can ask the questions, that perhaps they find a different health care provider, um, and that also that they write down those questions, that they come as prepared um, to the exam as they are in terms of how, I mean, they, if you're going to spend seven more minutes in the shower, maybe you could also spend that extra seven minutes thinking about the questions, right? <laughs> totally, totally. And I would also add that Healthcare providers don't remember the little things that you think we do, and we don't think about the things you think we think about. When you're there, you are our, our most important patient, and you have that time to ask us anything that's important to you. If it's important to you, it's important to us. So please take control and ask those important questions. Right. Just remember right. that these that these tests that it can save lives Absolutely. and save your life. Yes. This is up to to the women and the men who love them. This can save your life. It's that simple. Great. Well, ladies, I appreciate your time this morning. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.